A key feature when designing and building a model solar home is the overhang that will shade your south-facing windows. Since the sun's height in the sky changes with our latitude and with the seasons, we have to calculate the length of the overhang so that it allows the winter sun to enter our home but blocks the summer sun's hot rays. The sun's height is an angle called altitude, and it depends on your latitude or where you are on the globe. The sun will reach its highest point in the sky around noon on the summer solstice, June 21st, the longest day of the year. To calculate the sun's altitude on the summer solstice for your location, you can use the following equation. The sun's altitude at noon on summer solstice is equal to 90 plus 23.5 minus your latitude. You must look up on a map or the internet the latitude for the location of your home. The latitude for Sebastopol, California is 38.4 degrees. Now we can plug this into the equation so that the sun's altitude at noon on summer solstice is equal to 90 plus 23.5 minus 38.4, which gives us 75.1 degrees. The sun reaches its lowest maximum height in the sky around noon on the winter solstice, the shortest day of the year, December 21st. To calculate the winter sun's altitude on the winter solstice for your location, you can use the following equation. The sun's altitude at noon on the winter solstice is equal to d minus 23.5 minus your latitude. We already know the latitude for our location, so we can go ahead and plug it in the equation. The sun's altitude at noon on winter solstice is equal to 90 minus 23.5 minus 38.4, which gives us 28.1 degrees. A sun path chart is a graph that shows the path of the sun as it moves across the sky during a typical day in each month. The x-axis of the graph is the azimuth, or the direction that the sun is from the observer. The y-axis is the sun's elevation or altitude. Each sun path chart is created for a specific location. To create a sun path chart for your location, you can go online to the University of Oregon's Solar Radiation Laboratory Monitoring website. On their sun path chart program, enter your zip code, then enter the time zone for your location. Most of the other options you can leave as they are. Under Labeling Options, type the name of your city and choose Place Label in upper right corner. Select either PDF or PNG for the format of your chart, then click Create Chart. Your Sun Path chart will show up. On the Sun Path chart, the largest arc is for June 21st, the summer solstice. To find the sun's altitude on the summer solstice, we look for the highest point on the June 21st arc, then look towards the y-axis to read the elevation value. For Sebastopol, California, it looks like the summer sun's altitude is about 75 degrees. The smallest arc is for December 21st, the winter solstice. To find the sun's altitude on the winter solstice, we look for the highest point on the December 21st arc, then look towards the y-axis to read the elevation value. For Sebastopol, California, it looks like the winter sun's altitude is about 28 degrees. To check your math, you can look up your city's altitude on the U.S. Naval Observatory website. On their webpage, enter the date of the summer solstice, June 21st, and your city. 
Then click Calculate Table. The table tells, for each hour of the day, what the sun's altitude and azimuth are. Look at the column for altitude and scroll down to find the highest number. It looks like the sun peaked in the sky at 75 degrees. Luckily, this is the same answer we got when we used the equation and the sun path chart. Now let's go back to the form and check the winter solstice, December 21st. Again, click Calculate Table and scroll down to find the highest altitude. Here it looks like the sun peaks in the sky at about 28 degrees. Now that we've checked our math and found that it was correct, let's draw the winter and summer sun angles on the east elevation of our model solar home plans. Line up your protractor on the bottom of your house. Then use a ruler to measure the altitude of the summer solstice sun. For our house, that is 75 degrees. Slide the protractor along the house until the 75 degree line hits the bottom of the windows on the south side of your house. If you have glass doors, you may want to line up the summer sun angle with the bottom of the house and the bottom of the glass doors but at the very least, you want to line it up with the bottom of your south-facing windows. Draw a line along your ruler at this angle. Remove the protractor and using the ruler, retrace along the line you just drew. This is the summer sun altitude. Draw a sun and label it summer sun. The overhang needs to reach this line in order to shade the windows from the summer sun. Draw the overhang to this point, extending the line of the roof. Now let's make sure that the winter sun can still reach the windows. For our house, the winter solstice sun altitude is 28 degrees. Line up your protractor along the bottom of the house. Slide the protractor along the bottom of the house until the 28 degree angle is lined up with the top of your window. Double check that your ruler and protractor are lined up and you're measuring the correct angle. Draw a line along your ruler at this angle. Then draw another sun and label it winter sun. Now we can see that the overhang extends just enough to block the summer sun's rays from overheating the house during the middle of the day in summer but not so much that the winter sun's rays can't shine through our windows to heat the thermal mass and warm up our house during winter. To know exactly how long the overhang reaches, we can measure with our ruler and then use our scale to convert from inches to feet. Our overhang is three-eighths of an inch long on our drawing, so when multiplied, by our scale of 4 feet per inch, we get 1.5 feet. For more help with scale, check out our video, Drawing to Scale. Now that your overhangs are helping to regulate the temperature in your model solar home, you've completed all the calculations. If you are designing a model solar home for a class project, your teacher may ask you to draw a north elevation to illustrate windows for daylighting, and do a write-up explaining the features of your solar home before you build your model and add it to the solar village. If you'd like to learn more, please visit our website at www.solarschoolhouse.org.